Hello viewers, thanks for watching our videos. If not yet subscribe, please subscribe and click the bell icon. So in this module, we are going to discuss what are the solutions for exercise 3. So a bag of 25 marbles is shared between Rahul and Kiran in the ratio 2 is to 3. So Rahul will get 2 ratios that Kiran will get 3. So 2 is to 3, you can take it like this, 6 by 9. Can you take like this or not? If you calculated this, we will get simplified form as 2 by 3 only. So what we done here is 2 into 3 by 3 into 3. So we are multiplied and divided with some same number. This number we don't know. That one we have to calculate. For that, this place, this 3 place will take it as x by x. So after calculating x by 2x by 3x, then we will get the exact one. For that, if any total divided into 2 is to 3 or whatever ratio, we have to take it in the format of 2x and 3x. Like that, we have to take. This is the total number of parts. So, we don't know what is the exact value. That exact values, let's take this are exact values. These exact values are multiplied with the same quantity, the same quantity with number. So, for that, so Kiran will get, how many marbles Kiran will get is, Kiran is 3x marbles. Then Rahul will get 2x marbles. So if we add both that things, so 2x sum of marbles, 2x plus 3x will be 25. Then here what is this? 2 plus 3 will be 5, x will be equal to 25. Then 5x will be equal to 25, then x will be equal to 25 by 5. 5 1s are 5 5 are then x will be equal to 5. So how many Kiran will get? Kiran is 3x that is 3 into 5. He will get, sorry, here 5. So 3 5 is a 15. Then 3 5 is a 15. Then 2x marbles 2 into 5 that is 10 marbles. So how many Kiran will get? 15. How many Rahul will get? 10. That is the answer. Next one. A point x on AB 14 cm divides into 3 is to 4 ratio. Find the length of AX and XB. So let's take this is the line AB. So this is what? 14 cm. Then someone x point, let's take this x points divide into 3 is to 4 ratio. So if you divide 1, 2, 3 parts. So from here 1, 2, 3, so this portion 4, 5, 6, 7, so 4, 5, 6, 7. So it will occupy 3 parts, it will occupy 4 parts, x point is divided, this is the x point, it point is divided into 3 into 4. So 3 is to 4, find the length of AX and XB, we have to find AX and XB. So for that, what we have to do here is, so AX, let's take sum of all the lengths, AB will be equal to AX plus XB. So if you add both these values, then you'll get, what is the AX here? AB will be equal to, you can take it as 3 S plus 4 S, like that also, you can take here. This part is 3s and 4s. We don't know what is that line. So AB we know what is that 14. Then 3x plus 4, 3 plus 4 into s. That is 7s, 14. Then s will be equal to 14 by 7. 7 ones are 7 twos are. So s will be equal to 2. Then what is that ax will be equal to 3s. 3 into 2, 6 centimeters. Then XB will be equal to 4S, 4 into 2, 8 centimeter. Then if you add both A, 6 plus 8, so AB will be equal to AX plus XB, 6 plus 8 will come 14 centimeter. So this is the value. Next one. Geeta and Lakshmi own 1050 rupees in a game. They agreed to share amount in the ratio of 3 is to 4. How much does each person will receive? Well, we can solve this one in another method. How to is. 
So let's take uh, Geeta and Lakshmi. They are shared. Geeta will take three parts and Lakshmi will take four parts from the total. So let's take total rupees. Total amount will be equal to what is that? Total amount will be equal to 1050 rupees. Geeta share. Share to Geeta will be equal to 3x. Share to Lakshmi will be equal to 4x. So if you add total amount, 3x amount and 4x amount, if you add both, 3x plus 4x will be equal to 1050, then 7x will be equal to 1050, then x will be equal to 1050 by 7. 7 ones are 7, again here 3 will come 35. 7 fives are then 0. Then x will be equal to 150. So what is their share? So what is that share? 3x will be equal to 3 into 150. So 3 zero, 3 zero. 3 fives are 15. 3 ones are 3 and 4. So 455 Gita. Then 4x, 4 into 150. 4 zero are 0. 4 fives are 20, 0. 4, 1, 4 and 10. Sorry. So 4, 5, 4, 0 is 0. 4, 5 is 20. Then 4, 1, 600. So here are 600 rupees. Then our next one is. Divide 3600 between Satya and Vishnu in the ratio. So Satya will get 3, Vishnu will get 5, 3x rupees and 5x rupees. Or you can solve both as another method. So total amount 3600, such total ratio. Total ratio is 3 plus 5 that is 8. So Satya amount will be you can take total by total amount by total ratio into 3 what they get in how many parts they are covered that one so total amount is 3600 by total ratio is 8 into 3 so what you can take here 8 ones are 8 So, what is this? What you will get? 3600 by 8. So, you will get 450 into 3. 8 fours are 32, 5 are. So, what is that? 40. Then you will get like that. 450 into 3. So, 450 into 3. What is that? 1350 rupees. 1000 350 rupees Satya will get next what is the Vishnu will get Vishnu I am writing here Vishnu amount will be total is 3600 by 5 into what is that his part 5 so total is sorry total is 8 so what you can say 450 8 1s are 8 450s are into 5 so 450 into 5 what is what will get answer 450 into 5 2250 rupees so Vishnu will get 2000 2250 Satya will get 1350 so if you add both 1350 2250 what will come 0 1 0 here 6 so we are getting 3600 rupees. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Hello viewers. Thanks for watching our videos. If not to subscribe, please subscribe and click the bell icon. So in this model we have to find two numbers are in the ratio 5 is to 6. If the sum of the numbers is 132, find the two numbers. So they are given two ratios in this. 
5 is to 6. Let two numbers let two numbers are 5x and 6x then total will be equal to 132 so if you add both numbers you will get 132 correct 5x plus 6x will be equal to 132 then 5x plus 6x will be 11x 132 then x will be equal to 132 by 11 so 11 ones are 11 again 2 will be there 11 twos are then x will be equal to 12 what is first number so first number will be 5x that is 5 into 12 60 then another one is 6x so 6 into 12 72 if you add both then obviously you will get 132 that is the solution next one so our next question is estimate the ratio in which x divides so this is the line so here x is there here a is there here b is there here x is divided so x is divides a b and then check your estimation by measuring it so if you take it this one a b is 2 centimeter then a x will be equal to 1 centimeter and x b will be equal to 1 centimeter so x divides a b into two equal parts two equal parts so like that it is there two equal parts if you take a b will be equal to 4 then a x will be equal to 2 then x b will be equal to 2 so how what what is the ratio if you take is a x by x b will be equal to 1 by 1 2 by 2 3 by 3 and so on etc it will be divided in the equal ratios you can write 1 is to 1 2 is to 2 3 is to 3 or 4 is to 4 like that our next question is the income and savings of an employee are in the ratio 11 is to 2 if the expenditure is 5346 then find his income and savings so what is the formula actually income will be equal to expenditure plus savings expenditure means what he will buy and what he will take or whatever for the given money what he will take and all savings is what is the rebuying thing saved after expenditure total <coughs> total income so here total income are in the ratio income and savings this is income this is savings so let's take income will be 11x savings will be 2x then what is this expenditure 5,346 5, then you can find what is the x value here so obviously if you shift this 2x to the left side minus 2x will be equal to 5,346 then 11 minus 2x will be 9x 5,346 then x will be equal to 5,346 by 9 then x will be equal to 5,346 by 9 so 594 9 5 is a 45 it will be there 8, 8 4, 84 then 5 9 is a so 81 then will come 81 means 36 4 sir. then x will be equal to 594 then what is the income value income is equal to 11x so 11 into what is x value 594 what you will get income total income will be equal to 11 into 594 so you will get 6534 then what is the savings so savings will be equal to savings will be equal to 2x that is 2 into 594 then what you will come 2 into 594 
what is that 1188 if you add both then you will get total if you add 1000 just add expenditure income is correct or not 6534 will be equal to 1188 plus 5346 5346 so what you'll get 1,888 plus 5,346. So we will get 6,534. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.